My name is Dr. Gulam Bahadur. I'm a consultant clinical endologist. I wish to present the paper that we published recently in the British Medical Journal. It's on uh, IUI and IVF and it uh, contains several hundred thousand cycles of each, um, of each uh, of both IVF and IUI. The question is, is IUI better than IVF? And you know, in previous uh, presentations here on this uh, 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 platform, I have spoken about how you can improve IUI results. And if I can recall, some of the key things that I've said was aim for two follicles and also go for gonadotrophin-stimulated cycles and uh, some of the positive um, factors were double inseminations, if you can, and also the most important part of all that was uh, double ejaculation, that's consecutive ejaculations, and I thought those were some of the most fundamental parts of the things that I've said. So I just want to present one of the largest aggregate study performed uh, so far, and it has a high degree of applicability uh, and it overcomes selection bias. It uniquely describes the comparative treatment outcomes, multiple births, risk, cost implication, including the cost to, create, to, to gain one life birth and also the neonatal cost. And the data also reveal the extent of the risks of OHSS fetal reduction, uh, pregnancy terminations, and the level of higher order multiple births. In fact, what this paper says, and I'd like you to download it, um, is that IUI success is much closer to IVF than has previously been accept, uh, accepted or acknowledged. In fact, it takes 2.35 IUI cycles to be equivalent to one IVF cycles to deliver one live birth. Small improvements in IUI live birth rates uh, say from the mean of 12.1 to 15.6 percent narrows this difference to 1.73 to 1 uh, IUI to 1 IVF. So, but let's look at how many cycles are needed to achieve one theoretical success rate using baseline data. You need 3.7 uh, IVF cycles or 8.7 IUI cycles to achieve uh, a success rate at the baseline of 12.1 and, uh, and if you were to, sorry, 12.1 percent for IUI and if you increase that to uh, IUI success rate to 15.6 you can bring down uh, this down to 6.4. So the study also shows that the multiple gestation level and multiple pregnancy rate is significantly higher for IVF than IUI. 0. 2% of IVF pregnancies underwent fetal reduction. Uh, the moderate to severe OHSS was about 1% per birth. There were no maternal deaths, happily, and that 0.8% of all the total uh, births underwent terminations for one reason or another. An IUI baby is more cost effective than IVF. Uh, and given that the maternal neonatal cost that we, we calculated was about 115 million pounds per year for the UK, and that it was 42,000 pounds cheaper to gain one IUI baby compared to one IVF baby or based on baseline success rates. And if you went to a better clinic like uh, the North Middlesex Hospital, you can achieve that uh, uh, efficiency to 76 thousand pound cheaper to get one IUI baby compared to one IVF. So <clears throat> the IUI is better than IVF and the data confirms that it's positively, IUI is positively dominant over IVF in cost effectiveness with the least likely problem of creating multiple births and it's closest to the natural process. It's a less intrusive process, let's face it. There's no need to keep frozen embryos and all that, and there are significantly lowered risk uh, for mother and baby. So my message to patients and funding agencies uh, is request IUI before IVF, <coughs> safer for women and babies. 
and it's significantly more cost effectively in delivering one live birth. Thank you for listening.